Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back for another Dressing Well Facebook Live. I have to get myself situated here. Um, not used to seeing so much of myself on the camera. Uh, but welcome back, everyone. I'm so glad that you can join us. We have a wonderful program for you tonight. Leather weather. We previewed it last uh, last week with our good friend Hank Philippi Ryan. If you missed that session, there's link in bio if you want to watch it. Uh, the replay is in, in on the site. Uh, and tonight I have unloaded my closet. I cannot help myself. And I'm going to bring you on a journey of some of my very special leather pieces. Some of them are 30 years old. Some of them are vintage. Some of them are from antique stores. Some of them are from consignment stores. And the latest things that I have bought in the leather department are all vegan. The shirt I have on is vegan. A lot of what I showed in the video today, if you got to uh, check that, is vegan. So before I do a deep dive into our leather weather program, um, a couple of things. First of all, if you haven't read the blog, we do have a blog, uh, Leather Weather, that's our October blog, and it's on our website, and it's dressingwell.com. Uh, hello, Diane Webster. Hello, Joan. Hello, uh, Sarah's on. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, Sarah will get up in the chat, and Sarah did an amazing job with the photos, and I think it's just our... It's our leather weather philosophy. So that's the first thing. Um, the second announcement is we are now enrolling in our uh, 90 Days to Stellar Style. Enrollment is now open for our January session. It's going to kick off on January 17th. And we had our fifth group graduate today during a a storm during like when the when the world blew up here in New England um, but I just wanted to congratulate uh, that cohort uh, they have been working with Sarah Zango, Jen Coletti, Kathy Smith since August and they graduated today so we now have close to 60 women have, who have gone through that program and we are launching ahead into 2022 you all know that I'm always on my at my desk on Thursday. So if anybody wants to learn more about that pro program, really learn more about anything that we do, I am always happy to give you 15, 20 minutes of my time on a call. We have also started selling our first gift certificates for the season. So we do have gift certificates available for 90 Days to Stellar Style. We met two of our wonderful graduates that way last year. We actually launched it last December and we kicked it off last January. Uh, and we have also, we have gift certificates for everything that we do. And we're pretty creative. Uh, if we find out what you need, we can typically put together just the right program for you. So again, before I kick off our leather weather, those are our program updates, but I also wanted to just share a couple of personal things with you. So yesterday, I had, I had my annual visit with my doctor. And for those of you that have been on these lives for a while, um, you know that I have struggled with cholesterol. It's hereditary. Me and my three siblings all have high cholesterol. And we have had Dr. Julia Edelman on um, to talk about heart health. And I learned so much from that episode. And I have worked really hard to get my cholesterol down. And it shot up again over COVID. So when I saw my doctor in June... He said, I really want you to work on this. And I said, where, where do you want my number to be? So I was at 270, which is super high. And he said, I want you right around 200. So I went to the doctor yesterday. And I don't know if you can see this, but it was at 270, which is terrible. And I got it to 201. And he said to me, how did you do that? And I said, diet and exercise. Of course, I didn't eat anything good. I got rid of no ice cream this summer. I really eliminated most cheese in my diet. I really cut back on eggs and dairy. Uh, ate a lot of greens. But I just wanted to share that all with you for two reasons. First of all, he was just so excited and said, you need to celebrate this with people that that you know and you need to share this with other women because it's just so important. So I want wanted to share that with you. The other reason I'm sharing it is 
Um, we have a brand new program launching in January called Thrive in Style, and it's going to be a 12-month program that's a real hybrid between the 90 Days to Stellar Style, so you're still going to get a lot of style, but it's going to also be an opportunity for us to address self-care and the whole being in a really powerful way. Some of the guests that have been on our lives are going to actually be professors in our um, Thrive in Style program. So we are just putting the finishing touches on it. If you're interested in being a founding member of that, get on my calendar, get on Sal, uh, Sarah's calendar. Um, but it's going to be a little bit of coaching. I'm also an executive coach and I run some leadership workshops. So you're going to get a lot of that part of my um, my brain and my experience and we're also going to have amazing speakers and they're not just going to speak they're actually going to teach classes so and we're also introducing a speaker series which members of that community will have access to so if you would if you are interested in being a founding member member get on my calendar actually going on a retreat next weekend with our Thrive group, which is our executive leadership group, and I'm going to be asking them for help and really fine-tuning that program. So we're really excited about that, and that will give us another way to serve all of you. It will give you a really wonderful um, access to our community in a new way. And again, um, just in my own experience, this January, I started working out with Coach D. You've all, Coach D has been on this program twice. She was kind of like my first thing I was doing to get my groove back after COVID. Um, got my cholesterol down. A lot of that was because of, of Dr. Julia. And uh, on and on it goes. I'm exercising more. I'm sleeping better. And part of being, part of our message is about confidence and energy and of course style. But you really can't rock your style when you don't feel good on the inside and the outside. So that is my major update for today. And the last thing that, uh, two last things that I wanted to share and then I Okay, I think we're back. Sarah, give me a little shout out if we are back. Our internet went down. I'm sorry about that. So where was I? So I hope you guys all heard my, my story that my doctor told me to share with a group of women and you are my people. So I wanted to share that great cholesterol news and I was able to get that number down with... Um, just by really changing my diet, and I'm, I'm just delighted. And then the second thing I wanted to share, I started to say before the video went down, uh, please let me know if you're here in the group so I know that I'm not talking to a blank screen, but at quarter to six tonight, I got a DM from Connie Barr, who lives here in my hometown, who I met at the Needham Community Council where I volunteer, and she said, please check your door. And I went and I had this beautiful package all wrapped up with the most beautiful note. Connie, you made me cry. And she put in it this pillow, sweater weather, which I love. It's going to go right here on my couch. She also gave me some beautiful um, grapefruit hand wash. How'd you know that I needed that? And then she gave me these just really cute little elephants one of my boys goes to Tufts University. So, Connie, thank you. Just amazing. Hello, Maura Lynch. Thank you. I'm back. So, I am just feeling really blessed. And the last thing that I'll say about sweater weather is I just had a wonderful, wonderful weekend um, with my son, Timothy, at, um, at, at his college parents weekend. And those of you that saw my post, I wore this beautiful sweater, which I love. It's new, and I just felt so great in it. And this sweater will always remind me of children, um, college kids, um, being able to be college kids again. It just filled my heart to watch these kids doing normal college things for the first time in a long time. So Connie giving me the um, sweater weather pillow. I just love it. So thoughtful. And it really does connect to the awesome weekend that I had with my son, Tim. Okay. So we don't have too much time tonight. 
And what I thought I would do to make this interesting and somewhat organized, um, Sarah knows that I dump my entire wardrobe out before I get ready for these lives, but I thought I would just show you a couple of the interesting things I have in my wardrobe in the leather and the faux leather and the vegan and the pleather department. It's really real or faux, it's up to you. It's really what the, the look of leather and suede uh, can do to your fall wardrobe that gets us super excited. You can wear leather year round, of course, today. You see it all the time. But in the fall is when, to me, like the smell and the fabric, it's just meant to be worn in the fall. So hello, Karen uh, Canning, I see you. I see Maura Lynch again. Hello, Diane Webster. I'm glad you guys are back and I'm sorry for that snafu. So I just brought a whole bunch of stuff down. Um, and what I thought I would start with is a lot of people always ask me, what's the difference between real leather and, and vegan? And vegan is one of the hottest growing trends in, in all of fashion. So it's worth paying attention to. And again, the, the, the shirt jacket I have on is vegan. It's really the way you define vegan is really about what it does not contain, which is any animal product. So that's that's number one. The benefits of vegan and faux, faux vegan is faux leather, is uh, it definitely cleans better. It's not porous. So if you spill something on it, it's easier to clean. And then, um, but it's also stiff. It doesn't breathe as well. Like I'm pretty hot in this top because it's it's fake. Um, and vegan can be either plastic-based or plant-based. And there, of course, there's a, the, the real growth in that marketplace is with plant-based because pl plastics can be bad for the environment. So um, really look at the labels and you can learn a lot. The green leather skirt that people went crazy for in the video today. I looked this up. It's a Philip Lim. It's a designer. I got it at Bloomingdale's. Um, isn't it beautiful? This is going to hang Philippi Ryan, by the way. She, I just got a text. She said she loved it, and I had purchased it for her, so I'm going to drop it off at her house. Uh, but this is actually vegan plant-based leather, so I actually looked, looked it up, and it was. I had, of course, on the video, I, I put it with a really pretty sweater. I know you guys like to see the whole, whole look, and I think if, to wear this I also have this little leather bag. Isn't that pretty when you do the yellow with the purple? I could have worn this to Holy Cross this weekend. Holy Cross is purple. Didn't think about that. So um, that's one of the things I wanted to, sh to share with you. And then a lot of people will say, you know, if you're at... Um, I get a lot of my leather, if I buy, I don't really buy real leather anymore, but I'll pick it up at a consignment store, vintage store, and people will say, well, how can you tell that it's real leather? First of all, it's the smell, usually. So those of you that were on our last live last week, I wore this vintage chocolate brown dress, and I did get this at a consignment store. Um, it does not fit me well here, so it was kind of fun to be in it when I was sitting I usually have a belt, a really big belt that I wear with it, and I broke it, <laughs> so I didn't have it on last week. But the smell of this, you can tell it's leather. It's also very porous, and you can just tell by the stitching. So I wanted to kind of get that out there because there's a lot of questions right now on um, leather in general. And then if you went to our blog and saw our blog, and I know that Sarah will put it up in the chat too, the five tips that we included in our leather weather blog. Um, the first one was skirts, and that's why I showed this beautiful green skirt. Just because whenever I'm with somebody, if I'm in somebody's closet, and they have like a vintage piece or a really cool leather skirt, and you saw some of the pieces that we played around with from Hank's closet last week, I just love how a skirt can be a leather skirt especially in an unusual color, like the green, and you know, Hank had this color skirt last week. Um, it really can be the centerpiece, so I like to make it the centerpiece by the boots that I combine it with. Another kind of new rule with leather is you definitely can do leather on leather. Usually, back in the day, it was if you did a, a leather dress, you would only do a suede shoe or boot. Um, today you're seeing sneakers with leather and you're seeing a lot of leather on leather. If I'm to do like a leather top and a leather bottom, I'm probably going to, personally, I'm probably going to do a suede or a sneaker. But when I bought this top, which again is vegan, 
I saw this little cute, not that I would be wearing a mini skirt, but I saw that they were selling this together and it was just so cute. And last week when I was on college, Camp. I was on a college camp. I'm on a college campus every weekend in the fall. A lot of the girls had these cute little skirts on. One of them didn't have nylons or tights on, and I was got really cold at the end of the day. But you know, to be young, I would need to have tights on if I was going to do that this time of year. So I wanted to show you that. Um, when we're talking about skirts, this is one of my all-time favorite pieces in my wardrobe. I've had it for a really long time, and if my aunt Joan is listening we i got this with you aunt joan i was in florida with my aunt probably 10 years ago now and we went to this little town joan if you're on put it up in the put it on in the, up in the chat she my aunt lives in sarasota and it was um june i see june tartar is watching june you're a floridian you might know the town but it was the town between june we've had lunch there the town between sarasota and naples june lives in naples and we went into this antique store and there was a lot of junk a lot of cool stuff and i found this skirt and my aunt couldn't believe it and it's hand stitched it's vintage it's got like this really cool netting but i have done this with tights and tall boots and low boots and booties and jackets i've worn it professionally i've worn it for fun and I remember my Aunt Joan saying only you would have been able to pull that out of that store so that this always just makes me think of you Aunt Joan and, and I love it so those are some of the, the skirts that I wanted to mention um, the next tip that we covered was connect with your inner rock star and that was all about the jegging trend and I showed that on the video too and I have a couple of examples that's been a trend that is not new at all what's making it new right now I mean I've, I've been wearing black um, for lack of a better word jeggings or leggings black leather for for a long time especially when the skinny and the big sweaters were in but now what's making it a little more interesting are the colors and if you love leather on the bottom and you're a pant person this is the season for you not only are there a lot of real leather pieces out there if if, if that's what you're into. But again, the vegan and the faux and the pleather are everywhere at really affordable prices. So I'm gonna just show you a couple of things from my own wardrobe and how I've made them work. And a few things from the video. And what else do I have here? I had a pair of, oh, they're over here. So I have had these green, these are BCBG from like a thousand years ago. And I remember buying these at the Chestnut Hill Mall and I got them for like $40 and I was totally psyched. And I didn't wear them that much till I found these little Aquatalia booties in the green. So now I wear them all the time. And this little faux fur vest also goes really cool with that. So if you like leather, uh, again, real or faux, choice is yours. You can really combine it. It, it works well with all um, some really interesting fabrics from heavier wools and sweaters to if you're into fur or faux fur. So I wanted to show you those. Again, what's making a lot of things new right now is the colors. So this is a pair of cranberry these are vince but just this with a i used to wear put i would normally put this with like a really big black sweater i just put it with a navy sweater and it just looked so awesome with the navy it looked so new so that's what i'm gonna be doing that with and a lot of you probably do have some of those leggings i have a whole bunch over on the rack but i'm not going to get up and, and grab those and then i also showed these on the video today uh again if you if you like the the leather look on the bottom half you're seeing just these little joggers aren't those adorable i thought those were so cute and i have seen gauchos and crop pants and again, very affordable, especially when they're done in a faux. Ann Taylor has a lot of faux fabrics right now. So if you're somebody that likes kind of a more tailored look, but you want to get some of that leather vibe, I find things there. H&M has a really good selection. So uh, it's always where you find it. And of course, always consignment stores and, and things like that are great too. So... 
The next one is move beyond the bomber jacket. So while these, let me see, what did I have? I think I had this on the video today too. While these bomber jackets are always in style, and I did, I got this at Banana. I think I showed it on a live a couple weeks ago. Um, hello, Joan Sullivan. Hello, Maureen Deerstein. Hello, Phyllis Ward. Um, just so great. And I love doing these with t-shirts, with silk blouses, long, short, sweaters, jeans, just endless. And usually when I bring my leather jackets out, I put my denim jackets away. So a lot of people ask me about transitioning. I'm like really big into my jean jackets all summer. And then I bring out my leathers. Um, and then of course on the video last week, I had this little Vince leather and it feels like butter. Uh, but I got this right before the pandemic and I didn't wear it much, but I'm wearing it a lot now and it's just so soft and I love it. So I did rob a couple of things from Hank's wardrobe when I was with her last week. I, this is hers, this really pretty red jacket with this really pretty back. So if you're somebody that likes a little bit of a longer look, there's a lot of leather jackets, again, faux or real, that can give you a little bit of a longer work. And then I also wanted to show you this, and she was actually like, take that, show the women this. So last year, or probably two years ago now, she was traveling a lot, and she always likes to have, she was wearing a, a denim jacket a lot, and one September hit, I was like, Hank, use this blue. She has the most beautiful clothes, but she wore this every time she got in an airport, which was a lot, and she just kept thanking me. She said it kept her warm on the plane. It was, it didn't get dirty. She could put a scarf with it, so I wanted to show you that. And then the other thing I thought I would show you, just because I think you guys know how much I love my clothes and how much I take care of them. I went to my little vintage department, which is in a spare bedroom, and I just wanted to grab a couple of leathers that I have had. Um, this one I got at the Foxy Lady in Florida. My Aunt Joan, my good friend June, have frequent, frequented, is that a word, frequented um, that store with me. But I bought this, oh my goodness, it was one of the most expensive things I ever bought in my life. And I bought this when the book came out. And I wore it on television. I wore it for speaking engagements. It always photographed really well. And I don't wear it anymore. It's, it's a little tiny bit dated. It's got this really pretty chain on the back. I mean, I can probably make it work. But this is just such an amazing memory for me. And I almost didn't buy it. It was actually, when I bought this, I was with my really good friend, Elizabeth Mallory. Um, and I wore it with black pants. Donald Pine are really high heels, and I just felt like a million bucks, so I wanted to show you that. And when I was actually preparing for this live tonight, I said, my goodness, a lot of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe are actually leather. Another favorite piece, and this is, this is quite old, and this is Vince. I, boy, if you've been in my life for the last five years, you've seen me in this outfit, but it's just a little black skirt with a gold, trim on it and I have worn this with a black turtleneck tights and booties this was like such a uniform for me for such a long time and I still wear this I still wear this jacket a lot I'm gonna zip it up and show you how pretty it is um, but this was something that I love you know when I find a brand that fits this is Vince and I try to get it on sale but sometimes you know I just I grab it because I know it's gonna fit me but one of the looks that I did with this, with this little necklace. I wore that necklace. It, it really filled the collar really well. And I wore that so much, probably four years ago, to a lot of holiday parties. So this is still, this. I just put this back in my closet because I will wear it. It's a shorter jacket and I tend to wear shorter jackets like this with skirts just because I wear this professionally and it's a little bit too short for me with pants. And it's got these really pretty um, knit sleeves. So if you're somebody that carries some of your weight in your arms, whenever you can find leather with a little bit of knit, it usually fits better. So I wanted to show you that. 
And what else do I have in my little magical pile? Um, I had one more I wanted to show you. Where did it go? Did I throw it around? Oh, here it is. So Sarah will remember this little look. So this was probably my first vegan leather. I got this at Saks Fifth Avenue, at the amazing Saks Fifth Avenue sale a while ago. And as many of you know, our company has been involved with Bell the Ball. It's coming back. They just scheduled it for April 24th, but we weren't able to do it last year. But prior to last year, I had done it for 16 years in a row. And I always look for something kind of cool to wear. And I bought this on sale. And then I bought this little t-shirt. I think I got this at Anthropology, And it says, women will save the world. So it was so fun to wear at Bell of the Ball. And I usually start my day at Bell of the Ball speaking with my good friend, Arthur Anton, who's always, always, always also been a guest on the show, but I wore it with black jeans and I wore it with high heel sneakers. And then as the day went on, I took the jacket off. I put low flat sneakers on and I haven't worn this jacket that much, but it also is reversible. And that's why these fabrics are becoming so popular because the faux leathers, they're just able to do so much with it. So the concept of this jacket, which I thought was so cool, again, I got it at the sack sale, so it was definitely under $200. But it looks like a little bomber jacket. Isn't that cool? Look at the front of it. Um, so I have not worn it like this. I know my sister loved this when she saw it. I think she wore it. She borrowed it and wore it like this. Silver is not my best color. So I have to really think about how I would do this. Um, isn't that just so cute? So it's a bomber jacket with the black and then it's reversible. So this was another just super, super purchase that I bought and it's just tied to such a great memory, which is Bella the Ball probably 2018. All right, how are we doing on time, Sarah? It's 7.30, but we got interrupted, so I'm gonna go five more minutes because I have a couple other things I wanna show you. So that's what I had to show you in kind of the jackets. Oh, um, the fifth tip, so we're going over the blog. The five tips in the blog were make leather skirts are great as, a, as the centerpiece of an outfit when you're building a magnificent fall outfit. Connecting your inner rock star is all about using leggings and then opening up your mind to, to look beyond leggings to leather joggers, gauchos, culottes, you get the gist, at every price point and every store out there. Even Zara, I love Zara. They have a lot of great vegan and pleather looks. Then we talked about moving beyond the bomber jacket and I think I gave you plenty of examples of how I've done that and how Hank has done that. Got to bring Hank. This is leather. This is leather weather uh part 2. We did part 1 last week. If you didn't see last week's episode, please check out the replay. Hank just brought it home. She showed us so many awesome looks in in her wardrobe. And then we're talking about oh, we did we missed one. Balancing the look is is again how you do leather on leather well, what kind of jewelry you put with it, um, adding texture to leather, whether it's a sweater or fur, whatever you're into, and some really cool jewelry is a great way to do that. And like right now, I have on these little suede flats with my crop jeans and my little pleather whatever vegan, vegan top. So a lot of times it's, you can definitely do leather on leather, but it's sometimes easier to do leather with a suede, okay? And then we were talking about experimenting with color, and that has probably been my funnest trend to watch with all this leather. And again, with the popularity of the faux leathers, they, they hold color just very differently. So I wore this on one of the lives in the spring, but this is Ann Taylor, really inexpensive. And again, it's vegan, but it's just, I've been wearing it again. It's just so cool this time of year with the yellow. Showed you Hank's red, showed you her blue. And I guess one of my other all-time favorite leather pieces is this coat that I wore to my son John played football at Fenway Park, top 10 days of family. And I wore this and I actually did the whole leather, leather thing I had jeans on, 
a cream turtleneck and I did these boots that I got at a consignment store. They should write me a check. I wear them so much, but I just felt awesome. So I had this expensive co coach coat with this consignment store boots. They were leather on leather with a pair of jeans, a cream turtleneck and the Needham High scarf and I felt like a million bucks. So these are, so what I'm doing for those of you joining this late is just showing you some of my special leather based outfits. Another really cool piece. This is also one of the first vegan pieces I ever bought. I got this at Nordstrom. It's got black knit on the back and I wore this to so many high school football games back in the day and I had these these boots that I got with my niece, Maggie. She lives in Dallas. She and I went out and bought cowboy boots together. And I can't tell you how much I wore these boots, this black jeans, black turtleneck, probably a shawl wrap. And again, the memory of Maggie, the memory of being on the Needham High School Hill watching football. I love when my clothes remind me of happy days. So, I think I fulfilled my promise. I got a lot in. It's about 7.35. Again, we were a little bit interrupted, so I went a, bit, a little bit late. Thank you for letting me share at the top of the hour. Again, I've just had such a happy week being with my son and all of his amazing friends and family at uh, Parents Weekend out at Holy Cross this this past weekend, and it was sweater weather, it was awesome, and it just made my heart full to see these kids being kids again after so much interruption. And then, uh, again, I just wanted to share my own journey with health and nutrition, because we are weaving it in a more intentional way here as we roll out new programming. And I just feel so blessed that we've had, we have people in our community like Dr. Julia and Coach D that can inspire all of us to be the best us. And again, a just tremendous shout out to my good friend, Connie Barr, who sent me that DM at quarter to six, and this beautiful package was sitting at my door. I can't tell you how much that meant to me. Thank you so much, Connie. And um, Sarah, thank you. Sarah's over in the Facebook group. She does a fantastic job for us. And again, we are rocking and rolling with holiday and new year, new you programs. Our next 90 Days to Stellar Style kicks off on January 17th. Happy to talk to anyone. We have just sold our first two gift certificates this past week. And again, a huge shout out to our last Stellar Style cohort, our fifth one that graduated today. And it was led by Sarah, Jen Coletti, and Kathy Smith. And we have one more cohort, they're halfway through, they graduate in December. So we'll have another program real soon to get some of those graduates. I think people really love when um, we bring some of our students on and they share their journey. And it's always just such a pleasure to be on this journey with all of you as well. So that's it for tonight. That is our leather weather program. I'm sorry for some of the tech difficulties. It is to be expected, but we picked up. We rocked, we rolled, and we got it all done in about 30 minutes. So we'll see you again next week. Have a great rest of the night. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye.